Parental discretion is advised. ShopWWEShop.com. Now you can get $10 off any order of $70 or more. Click on the link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support the mayhem. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We are here blowing out your ear holes. And, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> right here at Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we're here with our Rose Gallery as usual. Uh, from Parts Unknown is Mr. DJ Lunchbox of the Funkomatics. He's not. Funkomatics? That's true. Uh, I did spend some time in the Funkomatics. What's up, Hot Dog? It's DJ Lunchbox, the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Um, so excited to be here. <laughs> Good. And on the couch is Shachi. Shachi guys. says dot net. Shachi plays for kids. Coming up in February. Mark your calendars. I know where DJ Lunchbox is. Where is he at? It's not unknown. It's not unknown? No, he's across the river. <laughs> he's across the river? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you keep saying that. I, I know I where he is. I see him across a couple Yeah, uh, two river rivers. Stations. Yeah. I don't yeah. even know where you live. You are, you are across the west side of Pittsburgh. Less than sign. I'm sorry. That's that's exactly right. That's exactly right. He's the three forming the heart of yes. the rivers. No. Uh, what? No, what? That, would, I, that would put him what? downtown. Uh, hey, it doesn't matter. Hey, hey, the the also from I don't know where, the Riz. Hey, guys. I just got the most awesome t-shirt today. Okay. It's the Sin Cara t-shirt. Oh, yeah? Oh, and, oh you got the Sin Cara cock shirt. <laughs> and I just, I didn't look at this yet. So this is the first time I'm looking at it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. How you guys doing? Today? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> and from San Antonio, Texas. The yes, Russell, I am the Russell fan. fan. Not buying shirts with penises on them, but. Uh, yes, you would. Penis. Don't know why. And this no. is your Wrestling Mayhem show where we talk Probably about wrestling. Have a poster of it. And we have pe- <laughs> penis posters. Oh, there's one. There's one. Mm, um <laughs> you can you can follow along with whatever the hell we're doing at wrestlingmayhemshow.com, Twitter at mayhem show, and you we also love to hear from you the listeners at good times <laughs> at wrestlingmayhemshow.com that was really weird i don't want to ever do it again um <laughs> wow I, I am happy to see you too hey chach hi chach <sighs> there he is i don't nice like sweater you today vest. oh god here we go here we go angry mayhem show um uh, you, know, you can also Ooh, it's uh, gonna be polite you can also <clears throat> call us and uh deliver your anger at 412 good times oh god no, 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 no. 412-206-0-9670. We have stickers. Chachi, stickers. I don't have Good time stickers. So somewhere we have stickers. You can uh, hey, send, yeah, a, found one. send a self-addressed okay. stamped envelope. Uh, sassy. WMS stickers at Sorgatron Media. Good times. Oh. Okay. No, care oh. of Sorgatron Media, 1535 Belasco Avenue, Pittsburgh. At, at I'll PA autograph this one. 15216. So there you go. This uh, is called. Hey, yo. Uh, hey, Sandwich. Hey, yo, we got the app. Riz has got it up there. Android devices. That's Wait, not Riz. That's not Riz. Android <laughs> devices. Riz. iOS devices. A dollar ninety nine. You get exclusive content Ew. that nobody else gets to see. That we record here live, and we are live every Tuesday night. Live dot media dot com. The special sub. Shout outs to our friends at the Wrestling Revolution for supporting the show. Let's get with our fan base. I love you guys. What? Sergio Orz- Orozco. Hi, Sergio. Sergio O on the Facebook, on the Wrestling Mayhem Show on Facebook. Which you can Sergio. Like. Hey, guys. Any <laughs> thoughts on the Sin Cara? Whoa. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, so close to Mexico. Hey, guys. Any thoughts on the Sin Cara? Go Tio de Oro. Golden dripping shirt. Damn, even his merch botches. Um, I, I don't know if I have a picture here. Did, did, I don't think we're allowed to show that. Are we allowed to show that? We might get booted from something. What happened with that shirt, guys? Actually, I did do it. have a photo. Let me bring that he up. He got really excited that he got his first shirt. And then <laughs> so he got fired there's the this shirt, policy. and it's dripping, and it kind of looks like a penis. Big, yeah. huge heart on. Yeah, yeah. I, I, 
That part looks like a penis, yes. Is that what we're talking about this <laughs> yes, year? Yes. Is that, I, that that's yes. a penis seat part right there yeah. in the middle. That's very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Apparently it's been This is pulled. the first time I've seen it. it it's been pulled from WWE Shop.com. I wonder why. Oh, There's a fucking <laughs> cock on it. <laughs> uh, His cock is almost bigger than he is. Uh, <laughs> he probably pulls off twice the moves. Yeah. <laughs> Can't jump over the ropes because I catch my cock on the turnbuckle. <laughs> That's why he botches everything. <laughs> he, he's so off center. His cock gets caught on the uh, the ropes. That's unfortunate. That's really yeah. unfortunate. <laughs> it's a downside, honestly. <laughs> wow. So that's what we think of that. <laughs> Probably because John Lloyd Ice is jerking him in the back. That's why I had to jerk off. Uh, you know, and also we had a message from uh, AJ Johnson, contributor of the show. Uh, he says, Piper's face says it all. Only thing missing is purple lightning. They're working on the Ceno Hill turn hard. Feel the energy, and if you don't believe the uh, the whole uh, uh, empire uh, uh, motive of, uh, of Piper trying to turn Cena to the dark side, I think that picture does this, uh, explain it all. So there you go. Sure does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, and we got an email from Sonic Screw. We got actually a couple of emails from Sonic Screwdriver of a sort. I'm not sure because I think he sent us half of one that he was supposed to send last week. There, yeah. yeah, there was one last week that didn't really get through, and then there's a new one. So all right, let's 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 read yeah. let's read the new one here. I will. I will be happy to read the new one. You are a fan of the Sonic. Can I read the old one? <laughs> just it just. It, not just because his name is Sonic Screwdriver, and then he embraced when we changed it to Sonic Screwdriver. That's right, his he did. Emails, he did. They're fanciful. The language is fanciful. I'm a big fan of that. He's educated. Yes. Okay. Let's get started. Greetings, Mayhemers. Sorry about last week. I was perched on my soapbox emitting a Sonic disturbance in email form when I was attacked out of nowhere by Samoa Joe. He broke my ankle for trying to steal his spot, maybe in line at the bankery. I'm not sure. That's bakery, not bankery. I'm sorry. Uh, and then threw me into a white van. Winter gave me a cup of Kool-Aid because she's always been my only true friend and can't believe I hadn't realized how great she was and always there for me, even though I've never met her before today. Luckily, the writer's attention deficit disorder kicked in and we forgot the whole thing and pretended it never happened. Anyway, my That's rant. awesome. I have a couple of things to say about SmackDown this week. First up, I think Mark Henry had his crutch the on the wrong side. Also, does Daniel Bryan's championship count as the shortest title reign, or does Dolph Ziggler still have that honor? I know it's an easy heel tactic, but too much effort has been expanded to make Mark Henry look weak with these cheesy title saves. I'll close out SmackDown with my observation that Zack Ryder and Sheamus are a pretty good tag team. It's probably because they use the same hair gel. <laughs> Hmm. I couldn't add anything to Mad Mike's review of TNA, so I'll jump to Raw. Piper's Pit? Sweet! Seeing Hot Rod brought back memories of Saturday Night's main event, Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling, and even the Goonies. I watched the opening segment twice, and although it was... Uh, oh, fuck, I lost it. Although it was great, I just can't figure out the angle. Is there another helometer test for Cena? Or is it setting up a soul-searching, the last dragon-esque build where Cena gets his groove back just in time to defeat Shonuff, who has the power but isn't the master? Sorry, I probably lost a few in that analogy. I'll try and bring it, bring it back around to focus. Now, where was I? Oh, right, Raw. Uh, I know the Miz angle is a retcon for the R-Truth suspension, but I like where they're going with it. I love Joe Mo's, Joe Mo's mojo and a... Oh, God. I love that Joe Mo's Mojo got a no-no while in slow-mo, but is Miz taking a page from Kevin Nash's playbook, proving he means business by taking out a guy with one win in three months? I like John Morrison, but if he resigns with WWE after his injury, resigns, which is spelled just like resigns, uh, he'll end up jobbing to Spanky the Boxing Kangaroo. Uh, I hate to push anyone to TNA, but sign on the dotted line, Jomo. You'll get a tighter sh title shot before spring. The Johnny Ace office scene was great. My favorite line from Mr. J. Hudson. Uh, I have a law degree from Harvard. I know what people think. Harvard law teaches people to be psychic. 
I blinked during the Divas match, so I had to rewind the DVR and watch it again. I have nothing but compliments for the Divas this week. They are really maximizing on the pitiful support they are getting from the higher ups. They had sixty-seven sec. They had a sixty-seven second match from intro to celebrations and squeezed in three high spots and a run in sorta to push the storyline. The Divas has done so much with so little for so long. They should be able to do anything with nothing forever. Have a great show, guys. Sonic Screwdriver. P.S. Michael Cole had a plethora of questions for Wade Barrett. I'm glad Barrett provided a myriad of answers because he's a cornucopia of knowledge. Hashtag the, the thesaurus isn't extinct. Hmm. What was that last part? I didn't get that. <laughs> the thesaurus <laughs> is not extinct. You were too busy getting that cookie. It's okay. Yeah, he's a college yeah. professor. And we have a voicemail. Uh, first What's a myriad? We have a voicemail. That's, well... Uh, you know, Google it. You'll see. <laughs> I don't know why I always sound angry when I call you. Because I always call you when I'm driving. <laughs> what with this yeah, that's why. What? Is it so fucking horrible to be behind me for two miles? And then he gets into some wrestling. But that was entertaining well. So, so if you're stuck in traffic at just one event, please call the Mayhem Hotline. Again, that's that 412 206 WMS0. Uh, the reason I'm not re- uh, doing the rest because we haven't watched it. I'm sorry, Big Freaky. Uh, he, he ran into me at, uh, at uh, uh, Night of Superstars up in Meville, PA. Uh, IWCWrestling.com. Uh, and he gave me these DVDs for Chachi. Uh, for those uh, you can't see, uh, he, he, these are for real DVDs. Uh, UWA Hardcore Toriumon Japan Nights 1 and 2. And uh, let's see, Giant Size Annual Number 4 with uh, Kevin Steen and El Generico on the cover there. I don't know entirely what that's going to be about. And uh, some Dragon Gate with Brian Danielson, uh, whatever his name was then. Uh, Open the Untouchable Gate. So right there. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, get, uh, take a watch of this and get these back to them. So man, freaky, you have a lot of faith in me that I'm going to give these back. Uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a ledge. I, I didn't expect this here, but um, and it, yes. just go ahead and say that they have a very high bar to reach. Yes, because of course there was what was already said to you. Yes, by uh, your crafts week. Your crafts week he, sent you this. Sent us, YC uh, Dub. Yeah, he, he sent us five dollar wrestling. Yes, which is uh, amazing. Really. Not to mention the packaging of just a nondescript <laughs> copy DVD yeah. that says "Play Me." Yes, which already kind of worried. <laughs> we were kind of worried it was snuff porn. Right. Yeah. But yeah, it has. Uh, that's the bar. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, uh, Chachi, I invite you to to list the rest of the vo- voicemail so you have some notes leading into this. Some. Uh, some provider <laughs> commentary, please. <laughs> and uh, it, it, uh, I think Do I have to? You, you don't have to. All yes, right. yes, I'm going to make you. This is going to be an order. Yeah. Homework? Homework? Homework. Do I have to write a, an essay? Do you want an essay? Uh, no, you just have to do something on here. That's that's fine. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you but, no, no, but thank, thank you for... Uh, yeah, we're going to have a response for this. I don't know why I just picked up my phone, too. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Wee. So you guys can see the text from my wife. Wee. God damn you. So let's head into it with the indie. Wait, wait there's wait. There more email. No, no. Oh, well, there's one, but it's for the indie minute. What the hell? No, yeah. no wait, are we which, doing this now? To yes. Charge? Yeah. Okay. All right. Wrestle fan. Which I will. Wrestle yeah, fan. No. Shh. Wait, this is between Be these quiet. two. Be quiet. Okay. I owe you an apology. <sighs> oh, really now? Yes. Oh no! Don't go there, man. No, 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 no! no, 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 no I'm no, going to no, apologize. No, no, not you. Yeah, just... la- last week, you stepped on me seven minutes and thirty-five seconds into the show, as told by AJ. Yes. Thanks, AJ. <laughs> okay. So after after the ad and the intro music, that takes us up to about eight minutes, roughly, before you stomped all over me. I don't like that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apologize 
for screaming in the background of your indie minute. Even though that was kind of funny. Yeah. Well, it is. Everything, that was kind of funny. Everything I do is funny. But <laughs> should do it some more. Um, like that. Yeah. Uh, so I'm sorry for ruining your moment because we all know it's longer than a minute. Seven minutes. Exactly. So, yeah. I apologize for ruining your minute. Why, and, thank you, Chuck. And I will let you do your minute without uh, interrupting you during those 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of that, actually, uh, so do you want to, do we want to, do we want to make this official on the show? What? Of the suggestion I made to you on Monday. Oh yeah. Uh, About my you, segment. You can mention it. Uh, if it's what I think it is. Well, uh, basically I, I know that I uh, think first, thank you, Chachi. Thank you. I truly, truly appreciate it. And also, um, I like to announce a little bit of change in plans because this, uh, segment, this next segment is now called, uh, this week in indie wrestling. Yay. Well, Formerly known as the Indie Minute. So no, 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 you can't. There won't be any confusion. You can't do that. And you can't with me. We had a meeting about it. I'm sorry. You don't show up to the Monday Raw hangout meeting. The boss yes. approved, Chachi. The boss approved. boss approved. Well, you, wait, 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 wait. What is this? You can call it whatever you want, and we still know that it's the Indie Minute. <laughs> well, well, but it's no, no. No, no, you Former, can call it. Formerly known as the Indie Minute. No, you it's can, like Prince Ayakea, but the second. <laughs> wait, you wait, can wait, call wait, it okay. can anything I, can you want. Can I interject want. with something? Yes. Just to bring a little levity. Do you have the camera on me, Sword? Yes. Hi, Internet. Look at my new kitty. <laughs> his, his name his name is Schrodinger. <laughs> I got him today. <laughs> okay. All right. And with that, I think that's good. And okay, we that's can, the best thing ever. I let's go to this week anymore. in indie wrestling. Hi, Indiana, look at my new kitty. <laughs> How am I going to top Schrodinger or whatever the hell you just said? You know, I don't know, but you got a minute. Go. Yeah, I don't know. You got you got a minute to follow up with pussy. I don't have a minute anymore. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Greetings, my peeps. Here's a rundown of matches on the card at this week's AON show. Did you write show. this? For whom the oh, bell right. tolls. December 3rd at 7 yes, o'clock you did. at Planet Ice in Johnstown. Uh, AON PA heavyweight champ Randall Fairway versus a mystery opponent. Akiba versus original Florida thug. Biff Blackstone versus Marcus the Nomad Cage. Adam Mastikov versus Justin Starr, number one contenders match for the TV title. Slip Indicate versus the Hassel Brothers. Uh, Black Lightning versus Sherrod Hall in a TV title match. And of course, card subject to change, Bobby F. J. Town. Thank you, Bobby F. J. Town, for sending in the AON report. Next time, uh, next we're moving on to the uh, big news that came from the indie world this week. Okay, that was just noise. Uh, the merger uh, that was announced between uh, Dragon Gate USA and Evolve, both of the company's uh, projects um, of sorts by um, Gabe Sapolsky. Well, he's the booker, I believe. Yeah, well, he, booker and also he's sort he of, I guess, both? in a way, the founder okay. um, of the companies. Um, he has decided to merge the two companies together, meaning that basically they um, – the, the wrestlers from Dragon USA as well as wrestlers from Evolve will compete on uh, both companies' shows. Um, it'll be uh, – so the titles, for example, like dr the Dragon titles will be defended in Evolve as well as um, Evolve is planning to hold a singles championship that they will uh, also defend in Dragon Gate USA. So. That's cool. That's cool. That's, I, I kind of like that because, I mean, Evolve was a really cool concept where they actually had standings and they followed the points and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was a really, really interesting concept. But to have that be combined with, like, uh, you know, how crazy we hear that, uh, uh, you know, uh, Dragon Gate is, uh, of which friend of the show, Johnny Gargano, is still a champion, I believe. Uh, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. that that seems like hey, it's perfect, you know, I, I and uh, it's, probably, it's probably just probably just gave uh, consolidating a little bit. But uh, but yeah, I, you can't be mad at that, man. And, and there's already I pay per views. So exactly. Yeah. So I definitely I definitely think there'll be a lot of good things to come from this merger. Mm -hmm. um, also. Uh, next thing we want to mention is a little thing that's been uh, coming together as of late. Um, former Smash, uh, Smashing Pumpkins uh, lead 
uh, Billy Corgan has a uh, has a new wrestling company. Mm-hmm. Uh, we haven't mentioned it on the show before, but it's definitely something to bring I'm up. Uh, Resistance you. Pro. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Billy Cor- Billy Corgan always a big part of wrestling. Um, really? I believe he did do some stints in the uh, original ECW during its like sort of ending uh, period. Also, uh, he was a big part of TNA wrestling as he did a lot of work with them. Um, I think they as, submitted a song for a pay per view one time. Yeah, they did a couple. They did a couple like songs for pay per views, um, and now he has his own wrestling company, Resistance Pro. Um, they had a show on Black Friday actually um, this past week, and it was told. I was told that it was a great event. Definitely um, a lot of good stuff from there. A lot of great talent coming from there. You see people like Raven, uh, former or Raven the, is actually the agent of the company. Uh, former WWE superstar uh, Harry Smith. Otherwise known as uh, David Hart Smith. There's, um, there's not much to their website. No, there's oh, not look, much. But oh, look, um, it was it's, made, wow. it's powered by website tonight by uh, GoDaddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's not the fanciest of the point, uh, you know. It's but definitely, uh, people like the Necro Butchers involved in this. Kevin Ooh. Steen, I see, is a couple a uh, couple names there. They had their first show, and I believe at their next show, which is January thirteenth, they will crown their first world champion. Um, so definitely, if you want to go check that out, I'd really uh, suggest uh, go checking them out, seeing what it's all about. It's in the Chicago area, um, so if you are in that area, go check it out. Um, it's resistancepro.com, um, and go basically go supporting a company out there, so it's definitely great. And then also, uh, the final note I want to make is um, our friends at Chikara this weekend have their big Joshi Mania event that is coming up. Uh, uh, Three night event, um, all about the women of professional wrestling, uh, otherwise known as Joshi's. Um, great wrestlers um, from America as well as Japan will be involved. Those such as Sarah Del Rey, who's been a friend of the show, and also a uh, Chikara mainstay, as well as um, former TNA star Ayako Hamada will be involved. Um, Aja Kong will be making her uh, well, not American debut, um, but she will be uh, returning. Uh, to that area. Um, she has uh, matched the schedule with Sarah Del Rey, which uh, I believe on the first night, which I'm sure is going to be an absolutely great match. Um, sort of a dream match of sorts. Uh, a lot of great action. Um, if you want to check him out, it's uh, uh, December 2nd. They will be in Philadelphia at the ECW Arena. December 3rd in Everett, Massachusetts. And December 4th in New York City. So definitely go check them out uh you can get your tickets if you haven't already at shakarpro.com it's definitely going to be a great uh weekend of events um and that is the week in indie wrestling no that's the indie moment nope and i, I wish and i wish, and I, wish nope. I had I was 540 to, i'm trying to find i'm trying to find well, thank it. you for recording my times riz except that it doesn't matter Oh, it uh, matters. This week in indie wrestling. I also want to say this week in the Chikara Color Tunes app, because there's my black version of Sarah Del Rey. Whoa. There you go. Yeah, black Sarah Del Rey. Wait, hold on. Sarah Sarah Del Shaquita. (laughs) (laughs) But no, yeah, I've been playing with the Color Tunes app. It's it's pretty fun. It's only 99 cents. Just just get it to support the guys, man. I mean, Chikara Chikara is the shit. And uh, and they're doing a lot of really cool, interesting stuff that a lot of wrestling promotions Look. just don't do. Uh, Chachi is uh, I did oh, fright okay. Jesus Christ! Oh, sorry about that. Oh, that is the fart in this cat. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Oh, nice, nice fright there. Oh, there no. you go. Very orange. Very orange. Oh. You've never seen fright. Very before. pretty, Chachi. Hey, yeah. I changed them up. Change them up. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. All right, guys, that was the Indie Minute, but now let's go into Why make them all what's going black? on with the Mad no Mike's kitty. Minute no. of Mayhem, but first, a look at no kitty. what's going on with Mayhem <laughs> Show Gold this week. We'll be right back. Oh, uh, that's okay. Um, uh, well, hello, person who doesn't know us yet. Uh, the best way to be introduced to the Mayhem Show is some good old-fashioned penis fencing. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, oh, I don't know what to say oh. about this. Oh. Oh, you know, God. Come on. Well, like, that, that's brutal. basically what he did. It was, it was pretty fun. I didn't know what he was doing because he was just kind of moaning at first. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay. I just fist bumped Sorg for that. Yes, that's what happened. Mm-hmm. That's, that's why I'm. Get these bottles 
Hey, hey, Mayhemers, it's Mad Mike here once again with your Minute of Mayhem. Now, uh, last night on Raw, we saw a very unique Piper's Pit segment with John Cena. And I gotta be honest, I kind of love where this thing with Cena is going. It seems like they're trying, they're going to try and push Cena over the edge. Um, first it was obviously The Rock, and now it's Piper. And I have a feeling next is going to be The Miz. And I really think, like, if they have John Cena get repeatedly screwed over out of things all the way up until WrestleMania, like, um, Rock interferes and throws him out of the Rumble. Or, um, someone takes him out before Elimination Chamber or something like that. And it eventually leads to, like, an explosion at Mania where he just goes fucking ballistic and, you know, beats The Rock. And then after the match, goes to shake The Rock's hand, then beats the holy fuck out of him. Just like Miz did to Morrison and turns heel, that might be the greatest thing that they could do with John Cena. But, uh, yeah... So that's pretty much my thoughts on the whole Cena thing last night. Raw was awesome. Otherwise, um, you had Zack, Dolph, and uh, Punk all getting big wins. And that's that's always a good thing. And Wade Barrett needs to be on commentary more. All right, well, see you on the show, guys. Take care. Spike your hair. Hello, welcome back to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Thank you, Mad Mike, for that thoughtful minute of mayhem. Now is the time in the show where we remember when... Now, uh, this week, uh, we were reflecting last night in the Hangout about the Royal Rumble. Uh, The new poster came out uh, involving Santino. Look it up. It's interesting. It's interesting. Um, but then it, it harkened back. I remember good old Royal Rumble. They, they've had a lot of fun with. There was a, you know, they, they had the big Roman doors the one year. Uh, where I think like, it was the McMahons as the, as the Roman patriarchs or whatnot. Uh, but the one year that really stuck out with me was West Side Story. When everybody was decked out West Side Story style singing or lip syncing uh, to, to the, the gang fight scene. I'm not familiar with West Side Story. I'm sorry. Um, yes, because it's complete gender or gender. Yeah. Uh, culture mix with this show. Um, but it was just hilarious to see everybody in the wigs and everything, even a week on top of Rey Mysterio. Uh, and uh, I actually uh, more recently uh, had an old tape from when I used to uh, record a lot of the pay-per-views I bought. And I had to sit and watch that because it was so fantastic. Look it up on YouTube on your memory box like WrestleFan. And uh, and let us know what kind, what what segments, what pay-per-view lead-ups. Do you remember when? Over a good time wrestling, good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com and Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Please let us know. What do you, what do you remember? What was your, some of your favorite pay-per-view build? kind of kind of uh, uh videos like that so i uh, do you guys have anything you want to add to that any anything in particular uh that, that sticks out for you real quick around the horn how about you chachi uh, nope. nope got nothing no chachi doesn't watch wrestling how about nope. how, how about you lb anything that sticks out in your mind right off the bat <clears throat> i the royal rumble what <laughs> but the royal rumble I goddamn oh. love it <laughs> I, <laughs> it has I, absolutely nothing to do with what you're talking about. The, I, I, I have a, a hard on since you mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> he loves the um, Royal Rumble. You love no, it. I agree. I love it when they get um, when their advertising is actually interesting, especially for the Rumble. That the Roman Coliseum one was great with the McMahon's and shit. And the, uh-huh. I, I completely agree. I remember the year uh, I was watching a pay per view with you guys, I believe, and it was. Um, 
before the rumble and they debuted that commercial. And it was the greatest thing we had ever seen. Mm-hmm. Absolutely mm-hmm. hilarious and fantastic. I completely agree with you, uh, Sorg. Remember, remember the uh, remember the Royal Rumble where they were fighting in the New York subways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the one yeah. we ended up going to up there. For yeah, yeah, because they kind of had like the subway set up. Uh, and what about you, Wrestle Fan? Is there anything that sticks out for you, or was or was that it? Well, that um, yeah, they always they always try something different with the Royal Rumble. Well, I, think- I don't mean like not not just like the Royal Rumble. What other kind of intro paper mm-hmm. like, like whatever WrestleMania, anything like that that really mm-hmm. stuck out with you? Leading up yeah, Russell, well, WrestleMania usually doesn't go into that venture. The only one I can think of was WrestleMania 9, and that, you know, mm-hmm. that's just from the whole, like, Vegas thing. But um, I don't know. I, there wasn't. There hasn't been a lot of those anymore, a lot of those themed, you know, uh, unless you count, like, Capital Punishment, which is, you know, okay, whatever. But I definitely think they should bring that back. I, they should. I don't know if it's ba- <laughs> based off the new Royal Rumble poster. I don't know. If that's a sign of anything's to come, so yeah, yeah. Uh, how about you, Riz? Uh, the only thing I remember that comes close to that that's not Royal Rumble related is uh, the SummerSlam promos, where they had that big beach party outside. Oh, yeah. You know what? That Everything like fuck up. One, and, or go ahead. Matter, buddy. Well, let, let, let Riz finish here. I'm yeah. sorry. Wait, did 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 go ahead, Fox just call me buddy? <laughs> no, not you. I'm so I was okay. talking. I was talking to my cat. That's your buddy, pal. <laughs> I was talk- talking to my cat. <laughs> <laughs> he was stroking his cat. Anyways, but yeah, like the the SummerSlam promos where they had the biggest party of the year, mm-hmm. and I can remember like seeing the DX do some sexual innuendos about sausage <laughs> and a lot of other things. When DX. Were- I'm, I'm sorry. When DX was big, they had, they had some a lot of fun promos going into. Yeah. The you know what? Another good SummerSlam one was though mm. the Olympics one. Remember that one? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I, as we're sitting here, I'm thinking about uh, you know, you say WrestleMania really hasn't done much. Remember WrestleMania 21? The uh, WWE goes oh, to Hollywood. Hollywood. Goes yeah. to Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. those were tremendous. The mm-hmm. uh, I, oh, the the, the um, uh, you talking to me promo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. S- some great stuff. Harry went Met Sally. Hi, Rick. What, what's that? Heidenreich. Heidenreich. <laughs> Heidenreich, yeah. And that was good stuff. They had a good batch of characters for them to have fun with that. Uh, I, I almost I, I have WrestleMania 21 via the box set, but I want to get the DVD set so I can get all those promos. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I can just use YouTube. Oh, well, you know. So Use the Remember the Box. The Remember that, Box. That, does, that actually does make a good point as to like how why they don't do it anymore it's i guess it's kind of harder now because you don't really have the same amount of like characters you had well i think i got characters i think it's a budget thing to be honest well, maybe. much like much like we talk about like i don't know if you talk about it on the show we talk about this in hangout about how the the pay-per-view uh sets are pretty much all of the light thing anymore <laughs> even the smackdown raw stuff is the same set anymore uh mm-hmm. more or less uh, yeah. you know, except I, this one tonight has Christmas trees. Yes. Yeah, so, well, there's that. There's that. There's that. What's I that? miss the big fist. <laughs> the big. I fist. do miss the big the, fist. The big yeah. fist. Was it, couldn't you climb up on that in one game? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you never <laughs> ever landed on people you were trying to. No, never. They were always under the fist. Yeah. I would always, I would always, because in that game you could stack tables too, and I would always try and put someone on two tables and then jump off the fist, and it very rarely worked. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely, definitely. So, uh, thank you guys for for getting into that. And aside from that, I just want to say, uh, you know what's awesome on WWEshop.com, and I'm not saying this because we have a roll, pre-roll for them for the show. The uh, penis shirt. Well, other than the penis shirt, but uh, let's start uh, for one with the Zack Ryder gnome. Look gnome. at that thing! I saw that in the background, I think, on Raw or SmackDown. It's like, that's incredible. But then somebody pointed out, Riz, I think it was you, the CM Punk. That's not the Punk, only gnome they have. The CM Punk gnome. If everyone ah. needs more than one WWE wrestling gnome. Uh, I, I'm ah. sorry. Yes. Uh, yes. First off, WrestleFan, if you have a gnome, you need more than one gnome. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. It depends, then, it depends on your lawn landscape. And then you can reenact Nomeo and Juliet, but with wrestling guys. <laughs> Nomeo. Where or you can sit around your living room just chilling with your Nomies. 
<laughs> Where my nomies at? Where my nomies at? What? Hello. Wow. That's a, really that's all the news I have this week. No man. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, that's no, a no, good no. show, guys. See you all later. right, let's get out of here. Um, all right, so so you what did you learn this week? In wrestling? I learned gnomes, 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 gnomes. All right. Uh, you know, actually, I did have something that I'm sure will make you guys all so happy. Uh, did you know that Dixie Carter is uh, being promoted? Or No, she is a promoter. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> let me just read the headline. WSU promoter explains Dixie Carter's Hall of Fame induction. That's right. She's being in, inducted in a uh, the WSU Hall of Fame, which is WSU is a women's fed, kind of like Shimmer. Yeah. You know, they've, they've inducted people in the past, like Lily Michonne, Sherry Martell, uh, Molly Holly, uh, I believe a couple other uh, big names. Wow, exactly, exactly. So, Talents. so I mean, it's a, g- girls that like weren't really like Trish Stratus or anything, but probably you know deserve well, not, not, for their not work. necessarily. I so think, they're I just think... letting everyone in. No. Not really. I mean, just people who were influential, I guess, in women's Yeah, because, I mean, you yeah, ask really. I mean, you ask anybody, like, Gail Kim was talking about, like, the most influential person for her was Molly Holly, you know, when a lot of those girls started coming through around that same time. Beth, well, Beth Phoenix is saying that she, um, one of the ones that got her into WWE was Molly Holly. Exactly. She exactly. helped her pay for her uh, time right. in uh, OVW, right. I think. I'd have sex with her. The mighty Molly. Okay, that's not the conversation, but okay. It's not. And that's why we don't have any ladies on the show anymore. That was the Thanks, Chachi. Thanks, Chachi. Way to go. We were talking about women. Yes. And sex. No, 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 <laughs> no. You weren't. You said WSW. W- WSU. No, WSU. Women superstars uncensored and know that Chachi they're just uncensored. Sex. Oh, okay. No, no, that means they, they threaten to take somebody hostage and... And kill him with a machete. Kill him with a machete in a war games match. Um, mm. Anyways, uh, well, anyways, he says, "Hey, let me just put this out here. How many female promoters are out there? How many female promoters have there been? How there aren't many. Uh, I can only name two or three off the top of my head. Dixie Carter. No matter what you want to say about TNA, stood the test of time. She gives people jobs. I don't necessarily agree with the way they do things there in TNA." But the fact is, she's a female promoter. She's keeping wrestling alive. So basically what this person is saying is they don't have anyone else. Wow. Basically, that's not, it. They're basically like, no, showing we, up and we scraped the bottom. No, now no, we're it, done. Showing up, is. basically showing up and being a female in this business is 99 percent of the job. Um, if you have boobs, you're in. Well, I'm, but but then. I love boobs. boobs Me boobs. too. High five. High five. Yeah, high five. But to boobs. that extent, I mean, can't you throw Stephanie McMahon in here? Because I mean, oh, she's, she's got great boobs. She yeah, does. She got great boobs. High five. Well, well, high well, five. That's the thing. <laughs> Stephanie McMahon versus Dixie Carter. Who do you think would accept? Oh yeah, that's true. Mm, well, I, I don't know. Which which has done more for wrestling? Well, which do you think would accept? We would accept this this honor. Who yeah. has nicer boobs? Who would recognize that there's a Hall of Fame for women's wrestling that's not involved in any way with WWE? Well, yeah, I don't think it was that. I think I don't know for her if she wanted to be honored. I don't. I think that's that's one thing, you know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. High five. Aw, poor Hornswoggle. <laughs> Everybody's watching SmackDown. This is. I'm sorry. Bad. They're beating up. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not watching I'm not SmackDown. Watching. No, I'm not guys. watching SmackDown. He's, he's played his. I'm right here on the couch with asshole. you. I'm, I'm watching, watching the wrestling mayhem show. I'm not I'm watching the show. not supposed to be SmackDown on right now. Yeah, that's weird. What because you're I'm breaking you K-Fan. That's right. I'm not breaking K-Fan. Stop giving spoilers, Russell fan. I'm going to watch it Friday like everybody else. Anyways. But uh, I don't know. It's interesting. And, and, and they're right to a point. She's a female promoter. And she's still out there. She is a person. But she's backed by a national company. You know? I mean, she's and backed by... An energy company. It's not like she's going away anytime soon, you know. I, yeah. So I mean, he was backed by a bazillionaire. Yeah, and he liked vagina, so maybe they yes. shouldn't him. He liked boobs. high five. These are some very <laughs> loose associations that we're, uh, <laughs> that we're doing. I'm glad here. we had a great conversation about this, guys. Let's move on. <laughs> no, that's basically what they're doing. What do now. you want to say? Want us to say? They're they're high. They're they're of women's organization mm-hmm. a wrestling organization that has a hall of fame 
who only honors women wrestlers or promoters. Mm-hmm. That, and or, or Dixie Carter is there. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, it, Why it's not? not like they have Fuck a it. high amount of people that they can induct right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's, hmm. They're si- this is what happened. They're sitting at a conference room. They have a manila folder that has five pictures in it. They're like, all right, these are, this is what's eligible. <laughs> we can we can either induct uh, uh, Dixie Carter or Rebby Sky. Right. Oh, man. So, I mean. She all the wrestlers. Or Leah. Yeah, great. She got into a Hall of Fame. Does she deserve it? Not necessarily. Okay, well, also, uh, what do, out of curiosity, what do we know about this Hall of Fame? We what know it's there. Is it legit? Is it long lasting? Is it actually a prestigious thing? Or is it like the time I inducted Chachi's balls into the Hall of Fame of my mouth? You know? <laughs> that really didn't mean anything. Uh a wrestle fan, I think you follow a WC. There's not there's right. not if you if you mean there's not a specific hall. There's no, you know, just like there's no WWE Hall of Fame. Like there's no No, that's actual... not what we're asking. Yes, we're asking is. how long it's been around. I think like three or four years. Which is, See, it's, it's not it's, well. It's not that old of a promotion, and there's no difference mm. between this and having a uh, like PWX has a wall of respect. You know, yeah. What does that mean to anybody except for those in PWX? To be honest, you know, I mean, it's great for PWX, and that's a local promotion here, and they have a long like. What, what did the, what did they just do their 17th anniversary show? Holy shit for an indie promotion, for all, by the way. Um, but but yeah, that's that's the difference. I mean, it's not like WWE inducting. It's 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 like. Uh, uh, what's that other one? The, there's another prof- professional wrestling hall of fame in New York, and what's to make that any different than it, it's an organization that's there to recognize? And now these guys are tra- these guys are trying to promote females in wrestling, so this is the way they're doing it. And 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 this isn't the only person they they've uh, inducted. I don't believe. I think they've. Like I said Molly Holly. We mentioned stuff like that. They inducted Jazz. And Jazz did a lot. You know? Yeah. Jazz and she was a great lot. worker. And yeah, everything. she did a lot. I mean, she's, yeah. But I'm she not might saying have I disagree with all of their choices. No, you're talking about the legitimacy no. of it. And there's right. no there's no difference between that and then one Listen, Hall of Fame up in New York. I'm State. a reverend and a judge of elections. <laughs> so <laughs> how legitimate is that? It's about the same as Dixie Carter being inducted into this Women's Hall of Fame. Which is completely mm-hmm. legitimate. Okay, right. well, if you want, here's the specific list of people that Please. are in this Hall of Fame. Please. There's Malia Hosaka, uh, who's been wrestling, like, she's a Japanese wrestler that's been wrestling, like, like back in WCW, even. Uh, Missy Hyatt, Sherry Martel, Dawn Marie, Jazz, Molly Holly, April Hunter, Ivory, Luna Fashan, and this year they're inducting Cindy Rogers, Dixie Carter, Georgian Macropolis... And um, Macropolis. Macropolis. Okay, I'm sorry. That's a it's a weird name. Meadville. I, I don't care what you say. <laughs> Meadville. <laughs> I mean, and, and Jana. Okay. That that's all well and good. And I know these women are already in the WWE Hall of Fame, and if not, they should be. But no, not. what about no, maybe not? No, not the women he named. No. What Sh- about Sherry like, Martell is probably the only one. What about Mae Young? Mae Young deserves to go in before Dixie Carter. Yeah. Mae Young, yeah. Mae Mae Young then you're getting, needs to go into any... Then you're getting into the argument of people need to go into a Hall of Fame before other people. Okay. Why Why aren't certain people in the WWE Hall of Fame? You know, How about why this? Why is, why because you- certain people freaked out and killed their whole family, Sorg. <laughs> <laughs> High five. That is not where I was going with that. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Holy no, hell! No, Why is our name not in the Hall of Fame? Fuck you know? daughter, the boss's daughter. <laughs> diddle, diddle, diddle. No, okay. If you want no, to make an argument, but, then look no, at no. Drew Carey being inducted this year. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, that's for celebrity. The legitimacy you know, of of Hall of Fames is dependent on who's doing it, and that's that's exactly the point there. Listen, it's if doing. you're if you have an organization such as this Hall of Fame that is for women wrestlers your your air quotes are off camera oh <laughs> if you have if, if you have this hall of okay. fame for women wrestlers 
I also realized that I didn't mean to put women wrestlers in air quotes because, I, <laughs> because they're real. But Take three. but I mean, they're there, real. Their boobs may not be. If you're High honoring, I five. If you're <laughs> if you're honoring women wrestlers, okay, <laughs> then you need to honor the ones that paved the paved the way for the ones that are here today. Without Mae Young, Dixie Carter wouldn't have a fucking job. Uh, what about um, Sunny? Where's yeah. she on this list? <laughs> There's another Where's one. Where's she on any list? Is, is she a Hall of Famer for WWE? Yeah. 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 She is. She's got All right. So basically, mm-hmm. another reason why Chachi Sunny. hates Dean. It's okay. Let's go. Save. No, I, I'm not. I'm just I'm asking I'm you kidding. to show me some legitimacy. I'm kidding, I, I, Chachi. I can't show you legitimacy for the to, WWE Hall of Fame, so. <laughs> oh, no. You know, WWE you know, Hall of Fame gets legitimacy because they're such a big company. Because they're WWE. So That's long. it. You know? um, this doesn't have legitimacy because. What it's doing now is building it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, they're working it up. And that's that's fine. Because I mean, well, it's like, would you would you find any issue if Shimmer did a Hall of Fame? that have been around for a bit longer. No, there you go. Exactly. Because and plus they would do plus, this equally. And plus, they're backed by Ring of Honor. But I mean, that doesn't mean that you're going to be agreeing with the line like if they presented a list like this, which I could see them easily presenting a list like this. They wouldn't put Dixie Carter in. Actually, I think well, they here's, here's here's what I'm thinking. I disagree Ring, Ring with of you. Honor had a long-standing uh, uh, a relationship with, with TNA because they used a lot of the same talent. They worked together for that. IWC so. uses a lot of the same talent. I don't see them starting a Hall of Fame to induct Dixie Carter either. Give it time. <laughs> <laughs> it will come. But here's what I think. What I think happened though. <laughs> the, the people at WSU, whatever. They ha- they don't have much of anything, but so they said, well, why not get publicity over inducting Dixie Carter? Because people are going to talk about it, and we can just put up a lame ass excuse and just say, here it is. Either way, it it. you're right. Either way, either way, it's publicity. Either way, it is publicity. Let's get any Hall of pub. Fame is well, publicity. I mean, I mean, you go to uh, what is that? The Wrestle Wrestle Union. And it's it's putting names out there so you can hopefully go and buy shit and come to their conference. You know, I mean, this Look how is how long we've spent talking about. Yeah, it. W, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. This is this is to in, invoke stuff like this, so people are like, well, "What the hell is WSU?" And maybe I should actually actually buy their eye pay per view. I don't. Um, yeah, actually, I heard no. the eye pay per view was pretty good. So. It's indie wrestling. So basically, care. the moral of the story is go fuck yourself, Dixie Carter. <laughs> 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 High five. Boobs are awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> High five. High five. High five. High five. And we were completely the people to cover this topic. I don't know. But they, hey, they got Sherry Martell in there, and some of the, the Japanese girls are probably good. Luna Vachon Ivory. I, I think that's I think that's a good lineup there. No, so. we are the people to and cover this. <laughs> because we speak we like the boobs. truth. Boobies. High five. We love boobs. Okay. Speaking okay. Speak, so speaking of Speaking of TNA. Oh, can I talk uh, about TNA for a second? I didn't know. Uh, uh, for a second, nobody else can get in a tirade about it and go. Okay, wait, well, hold I, on. I, wait, I have, minute, I have one question. Sorry. One minute. No, I have one question before you start. Okay. Are you going to bitch them out about something they did recently? Yes. Then no, you can't talk about Why? TNA. Why? Because <laughs> Sorg says that every time we talk about TNA, it's just a big bash fest. So we're oh, uh, we're eliminating good things. I know that's why so we're gonna, eliminating. So I'm going to bitch something about TNA did five years ago. Tell okay. us. I think Jeez. the more challenging thing is what did the the good thing that they did this week? What was the redeemable good, well, factor? They had, they had a show. That's true. How about this? <laughs> let's let's have a let's have a, a gentleman's agreement about TNA on the Wrestling Mayhem show. Okay. Uh, let's uh, just do this. Okay. Already? If you if you bring it up, you have to say something good, something <laughs> bad, and something they can make better. Okay, fine. Ooh, I like this. I like <laughs> this. Oh, yeah, I like this, can be, this can be a segment. High five. And, High five. And, and Mike, Mike, I, I invite Mad Mike to do it. He, Mad Mike has been doing a tremendous job uh, putting his thoughts on TNA. On WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Go over there. Check that out. Uh, comment on that with your thoughts as well. I, Matt Mike, I invite you to do this as well at the end of your column if you're not already. Uh, I, haven't watched, I haven't read the last couple weeks. Um, <laughs> the latest couple weeks. 
Okay, let me let me. Okay, I actually watch good. TNA, so I don't need the the filler. Something um, good. Okay. But anyways, I'll, okay. One, they one they had a show, so that's <laughs> that you, you can't true. use that every Two, week. No, 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 I, got another one, I got another one. Two. Uh, I guess. Velvet Sky's hot. Okay, that's I. I and you wait, can't say Velvet Sky every week. Wait, hot. hold on, hold on. I I gotta stop you. Okay. These are not legitimate answers. These are not okay, things for the sorry. show. Well, what did they do this These week? were things that were on the show. Riz, you, I, I, vent, I vent it to you. You know how hard this is to find something good. Well, you were the one who vent. Okay. Go ahead. Fine. Bobby but wait, Chan, wait. I but like, give us something good. I something like good what they're Okay, I like what they're doing with Bobby Roode as champion because he's not joined for mortal, just like, you know, most of the heels that our champions do, mm-hmm. you know, when you think about it, he's not joined Immortal. You know, he's on his own and he's, you know, all for himself. That's great. That's awesome. Now, can I talk about the bad? Can I go to the bad part? Yeah, I guess. You have 60 you know, seconds. Think, you know what? I think, I think it's fair. You listed, what, three good things? Can I? I have two bad things. Okay. No, that's, that's fine. You got to keep it even. Okay. Two bad. Okay. First... There was controversy this week because, it, for you know, all in the world of wrestling, they found out from the spoilers and stuff like that. TNA um, did a match that they entitled the Thanksgiving Thong Thunder. Oh yeah! No, oh yeah! <laughs> no, no, oh yeah! Where they because, bring, yes, they, they bring back Big Bertha. No, but yes, let, yes, they're hypocrites. Yes, they're stupid for calling out WWE for that shit. That's not my problem with it. The problem was, I don't mind the lingerie match. That's good. Go in your lingerie and do the skippy moves and show me a good time. That's great. But don't have an 11-minute wrestling match in your lingerie wearing more than you usually do. Karen and because Karen Jarrett set up the whole match to punish them or whatever, and then after the match, you're like, "You're wearing more than you usually do," and I'm like, "Yes, they are." But it's because, skimpy. No, it's not skimpy. Okay, first of all, well, one, the only one that showed even like a little bit of ass was Tara, and it was still thrown off because she was still wearing that weird knee brace that she wears, yeah. <laughs> like a robotic leg that she always like. Yeah, yeah. Robotic she leg. is forty. I know. Um, Ooh. Another one, I really think Miss Tessmacher just took her wrestling gear and made it a different color. <laughs> like, <laughs> like every other... Like, that's what she wears for, like, every match. Like, come on. Um, and then... Um, they were doing the thing. Madison Rain. Who I like Madison Rain. Madison Rain's awesome. She's funny. This is more than two, by the way. Okay, this is four. I'm going to say, Madison Romaine is awesome. She has a good character. She's, you know, doing good stuff. And she was hot. She was wearing a nice little red, like, lace sort of thing. Taz, said when, she, uh, Taz when she was in the ring, said that she was wearing... She, it looked like she was wearing something that Helen Keller would wear. Which caused me and Mike Tanay to, like, fucking triple take and be like, what the fuck did he just say? Because... <laughs> Wait, hold on. Stop. Time out. Wrestle fan. Who's Helen Keller? Helen Keller is a woman that is blind, or was blind, deaf, um, and was unable to basically communicate. I, I'm with Bobby. I, I'm with Bobby. Says Helen Keller is a nice lady. You leave her alone. <laughs> I know, Cass, no, Cass. Taz needs to leave her alone. I was just making I sure he knew who Helen Keller was I know before who he Helen went Keller insulting is. her. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything bad about Helen Keller. I'm saying that Taz <laughs> is a fucking moron. Listen, let me make this clear. Nothing wrong with the Helen Keller. I'm hey guys, siding hey with Helen Keller. Helen Keller hey guys, is A-OK guys. in my book. Helen Keller, high five. Helen Keller, high five. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, why did Helen Keller's dog kill itself? Oh no! <laughs> you would too if your name was. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Look, oh. everybody loves Helen Keller, and you know, <laughs> there's got to be balance on the show. Okay. Okay. Also, okay. you know, somebody's got to be entertaining. Right. Right. Go on with your TNA diva rant. 
I wasn't <laughs> thinking anything about Helen Keller. My thing was that Taz is retarded. But I can't. Believe- oh yeah, that's better. Uh, you go from making fun of the the uh, the deaf <laughs> the deaf blind mute to calling someone mentally retarded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave the handicapped people alone. All right, let's move I'm on. Not gonna win what yet. was right with wrestling this week, guys? Just in oh, general. Not even oh, done yet. Yes. No, no, I you're done. Mark. You are Wrestle done. Fan, gentlemen's agreement. Tell us one thing that can be made better about TNA and do it briefly. <laughs> okay, if you're gonna have 11 minute knockout matches, give them wrestling time on the pay per view. Don't make a lingerie match where all you do is wrestle. Okay, like so that's, that's, that's it. That's fine. Moving on. Paper. So Raw last night, SmackDown, a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, I didn't even get to talk about the turkey suit. I don't want to talk about the turkey suit. You're just going to be angry. Your time uh, is up. Yes. The Look, sun. the kitty's on my head. <laughs> <laughs> you should put him in a wow. box. <laughs> I just took a drink of coke and almost like <laughs> he came in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Um, but I like that. Not like I come in boxes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to wrestling. Raw, so, raw. Ra- let's talk about the travesty that is John Morrison's life right now. Oh, oh man! Oh. I don't know who that guy pissed off backstage. <laughs> like, I honestly, I don't know, like, who in the upper office he pissed off. But he is getting shit on right now. Yeah. He is. Oh, and- Fired. He was, uh, he's gone. He's gone. His girlfriend's a. Oh, he was fired. I, word I'm not going to oh. say. They he's going into acting contract. Now. Yeah, his contract's up in like a week, I think. Uh, uh, which is so weird since they gave him a pay per view. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. You know, as opposed to Zack Ryder. You know, um, I don't know. I don't know. But this uh, Miz taking out all of his uh, uh, his old partners thing is interesting. Yeah. He took out two. Uh, he's taking out two. He has one more to take out, and another one if he comes back according to these promos. Um, Wait, who's the other one? Second 2012. Didn't he team with Big Show? Or am I thinking Jericho? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big Show, yeah. yeah. He, 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 he teamed with Jericho for like a cup of coffee. <laughs> champion. A cup of coffee. No, oh, they weren't really, champions. No, that was really they good. Were. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Apparently, that was funny. Okay, I'm gonna use that. I like yeah, that. Go for it. <laughs> You're gonna use that? Yeah. yeah. Isn't that like a common? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you guys are um, here. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Oh man, Wheels has a great idea in the chat room. So what, what's that? He said uh, as soon as everyone gets WWE 12, he's going to create the WMS Arena. We're going to create each other, and then once a month, we have a uh, we face each other for the WMS E-Fed Championship. Oh, jeez. No, That's I'm already with it. I'm with it. I'm, I'm with that, man. I'm already with that. You're already with I that. I love it. Who has it? We'll talk about it. I have it. If you have WWE 12, I think I have a feeling most of us will probably have it after Christmas. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's going to be some amazing stuff happening. I think. Um, anyways, let's go back to what's going on in wrestling. Uh, anything from Raw? Or, uh, anything in this past week you guys want to talk about? It's not TNA. Hey, I had a, say what you want, mm. but I enjoyed Miz beating Morrison down. Yeah, it was, it was good. A good match. It was yeah. a great match. <laughs> I, I, it was entertaining. But uh, can we skip back to the beginning of Raw? Sure. You know the important part. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you mean this part here? Bum, bum, bum. Yes. Like, I want to put that to the overdramatic squirrel. Yeah, that's what, that would be a great idea. <laughs> but, uh, you know what you're saying? How great of it, of WWE, to bring back Rowdy Roddy Piper to turn Cena heel. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to bring him I to the dark side. I don't know. <laughs> I heard it barely. <laughs> okay, I gotta see if I can coordinate. Well, this. It, not completely heal, but just not complete. Oh, Face. I, yeah, not complete. Uh, it, 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 yeah, I'll, I will agree. It has made this whole John Cena rock thing much more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I played the music. Hold on. Oh no, I want the, the dramatic, dramatic cat. Piper. I want the dramatic cat. Oh no! Is it no? 
No. Oh, no. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, we need to do it. Then. Somebody make me dramatic, Piper. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That was horrible. You are bad Sorry. at timing I, I'm this. Sorry, it's, like, it's in different <laughs> I know, tabs. I, I need to use my in your corner. Anyways, go back to the important but part. But I mean, that is some awesome script writing. It, it's, it's, it's brought a complexity to the whole thing, I think. With this whole John Cena rock thing. What's your- it's made us... It's made people like me like care more about their WrestleMania match. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I still don't care about the WrestleMania match. <laughs> I, I want to see what they're going to do, though. I just thought that was a great like a great way to change Cena up, which is what yeah. they need to do. They're gonna, they're not going to turn him heel, I think. They're just going to turn him, you know, a little, a little heel. Yeah. Just a tiny just, heel. If just, I, a tiny just, bit. just a little bit of if, smidgen. If, well, I, if I may show my nerd here a bit... <laughs> <laughs> what they're going to do... Are you going to pull your uh, cock out again? No. What they're going to do oh. is they're going to turn John Cena chaotic neutral. <laughs> where, John, <laughs> where John Cena is going to do what John Cena has to do to please John Cena. Oh, man. I love chaotic neutral. It's my favorite D&D class. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he'll. they're going to make it so that he'll do what he has to do to win the match. Okay. Which is what Piper was talking about last night. Which is kind of Stone Cold or Eddie Guerrero. Right. You know? Right. Still still face. Yeah. But. Well, isn't Randy Orton kind of that now, too? In right. a way. Yeah. yeah. So, wow. I can't believe we just. Speaking did. of Eddie Guerrero. Why is there. Yeah. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. Why is there not a WWE role playing game? Am I uh, missing? Uh, or is there? Why? You, that well, seems. Well, weren't they supposed uh, to come out with I one? I think they did. They did? That seems to make sense, though, doesn't it? I think they did, but it was more of a board game than I mean, anything else. Is a board <laughs> I remember having it once. I remember having it in WWE. Oh, there's board definitely board games. Po- I've got the board game in my board closet games. right now. Like, you you tested positive parts. for marijuana. You, you lose three matches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that should be the Wrestling Mayhem Show version. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Police we, raid your house and well, find actually, enough. We do have a board game. Mayhemopoly yes. that Mad Mike yes. presented to us. I need to pull that out. You, uh, the cops raid your house and find enough drugs to, to supply a third world country. Go to jail. Straight to for jail. For ten days. Stay there for ten days. And then yeah. come back wearing your t-shirt as a mugshot. As a mugshot! <laughs> <laughs> did you see what someone, High five. Did you see what someone, can, we, can we talk about now? I can't, apparently I can't talk about that also. <laughs> is that, uh, well, something shitty. Is this is this an angry thing again? Not angry. Not not angry with Russell fans. We're having fun. Fatty McFatso from Fat Towns. Oh no, we're not talking about that. Fuck him. He's a loser, and he can go to jail. <laughs> okay. Anyways, go ahead. Um. So I mean, honestly, I I love role playing games. Yes. You know I love role playing games. Who but, doesn't love the role play? But how fun do you think that would honestly be? Like I don't I don't think it would be. Mm. At all. Uh, depends. It depends on your taste. Could be. Could be. I, I think. I think. I think it would be fun, but it would get repetitive. Uh, Role playing games like D anD D or steampunk games and things like that. There's infinite number of scenarios and locations that you can go to. With with a wrestling one, it would be a little more. Um, right. You can't really do much. Yeah, everything's gonna suck because John Cena is always gonna win, and if you have that card, you're always going to win. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, no, but I mean, uh, Lunchbox is right. I mean, there's only one location this can happen. Ultimately, that's gonna be a ring. No, it gets it, it kind of no. turns. No, out. you can go backstage. Backstage, backstage. parking lot brawl. Parking lot that's for all. two, three, maybe arena. throw in an office that's four. <laughs> maybe throw in you know one extra location that's like five. Locker room. Jam. WWE New York. <laughs> no. I miss, I miss when you had rest video games where you can go to WWE New York. Wow. Well, you can like, you you know, remember that? Elmo. I remember that. Those were the days. Those were the days. All right, guys. Is there wait, anything can else? I, we- can can yeah, I go, go back to one thing real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Um, oh, wait. Never, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
about Cena being chaotic neutral, um, they've he's been chaotic neutral. Remember when uh, Batista left the WWE because Cena beat him by duct taping his legs together in a last man standing match? Mm-hmm. That's a little chaotic neutral. They want him to go back to chaotic neutral. That's mm-hmm. the, that's what they're trying to do. Because, I mean, right now he's just been... Uh, John Cena. Uh, lawful good. True lawful. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I'd like to see him be chaotic evil, but with a winning streak. Like, Kane is chaotic evil, but he doesn't win matches. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, he, he had a run when he was champion last year, though. That's I mean, true. Evil, evil Kane does have streaks. He does. He does. <laughs> Fake That's evil. true, but not, no John Cena streaks. No, but face Kane, no. No, yeah. Oh. Face Kane just sad and makes me weep. <laughs> High five because which I is got- the, which is not going to happen because apparently he's fucking slaughtering people with a you know freaking axe when he comes back. You're interrupting a high five. Go ahead, Chachi. High five for me relating a WWE to Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, hey, hey, real quick before we go, let's talk about this promo that's going around. They were flashing it on Twitter to go to this YouTube thing. Uh, oh, Chachi, Chachi hasn't seen it. Hey, what? Is, where do you find it? Actually, the uh, WWE. What, what? I don't know second what. Second, 2012. This thing is scary as shit. I'll see if I can find it here. But uh, you guys, you guys. There's are, a there's a there's a dodgeball that turns into a little. Hey, girl. hey, hey, hey! No spoilers. Yeah, no. Chachi spoilers. has not seen it yet. Spoilers. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. This one's called the Second Pro- Coming of Braden Walker. Uh, <laughs> let's see, let's see what this. No, one it's all one word. Is, it, is this the one with the park bench and the kid at the thing? Oh wait, this is the. It's a different thing. one. I think there's a different one. Mm. Yeah, this is this is the old Undertaker. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the park yeah, it's, bench. It's, it's the. It's the. Uh, that's the Braden Walker. The second. Walker. Second. I'm gonna knock your brains out. Uh, but what do you guys think? Do, are we thinking it's uh, Jericho or is it definitely uh, Braden Walker? <laughs> I think it's Braden Walker. It's Braden Walker. Yeah. But yeah, it's 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 Jericho, I think. It I've seems to make kinda... sense. Now now You never know. I think well, it's the Undertaker. I think, think it's so? Sting. I think that's like far too obvious. You know? I mean but it's the crypt the just the cryptic message in this in All these I messages. know is this promo has absolutely nothing to do with professional wrestling. I can't I can't <laughs> even hear it. That's that's fine. Well, look at it. All you gotta do is look at it. I mean, it's um, but, but if you hear the, it, it's the second day of 2012. Uh huh. Which is a Monday. Yeah. Which is going to be. Ooh, that's a surprise. I thought it was going to be like a Wednesday. And the year is 2012, so it's a Y year. To, it just turned y, into a little girl. What? What? I'm sorry. The ball turned into a little girl. I, it scares me every time. Year starts in the letter Y. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh wow! My God. He's, he's breaking I'm going to go so so deep on you guys here. Okay. Second is the two, and the that's really good, Riz. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, the uh, two thousand is the K, and usually they do the Y two K Y two J comparison, so it has to be Y two J. I don't know. I thought Save Us was much better. Because the Save Us thing was more complicated. And everyone was yeah, like, ooh, what does it mean? They, the they were like, the oh, y no, people figured it out. And we have to – they screwed it up they, because they wanted to be mysterious. I, and and this is the first one. We have uh, supposedly a whole month of these coming up. So who knows what we're going to see here. And everybody is everybody saying uh, Y2J in the, in the chat room and everything. So. I'm, saying, I'm saying Undertaker. Going Undertaker. on the record. Going on the Undertaker. I I, I, I think it's going to be Y two K, J, K J. K J. So what is he going to be this time? Is he going to be in the suit? The big word. Like, is he going to be? If it's Y two J, it probably will be in the suit because of all the weirdness going on. Because mm-hmm. it's not. It's not one of those. It's oh, not one of like those highlight reel type type of things. It's just like a cryptic evil message yeah so yeah he's not the part i mean i don't know i don't think jericho's ever been like innately evil jericho's draw has always been that you know you listen to him and you're like oh yeah i could get behind that 
Mm. Well, yeah, which era? Oh, yeah, I don't know half the words you're saying. Yeah, which I'll look era, them up what, in the which, dictionary. Which era are you looking at? Because he, before it was just like, you know, he was what? I told her rock and roll. Even, you know, heal our face. He was just like, I think I'm a rock and roll star and I'm better than you, you know? I missed the poof. I'm, I was more referencing like the, the recent Jericho, the, yeah, the Jericho in a suit. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, I don't know. It, it, it's interesting. It, it's got everybody talking, a lot of speculation. Um,. Although, it's although, Batista because of the yes. basketball in the background. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, although this one comment says, "Pause the video at 16." Looks like the kid's buttons. Look at the kid's buttons on his sleeve. Anybody else see the letters DX? What? What? Hold on, Come wanted... on, this is you fuckers are crazy. You, uh, I love. Yeah, look DX. at these. Look at these. It does oh look my like God, DX. DX and all. Oh, yeah, oh no. Oh, no. everything is intentional. It's all a swerve. <laughs> all right. That's enough of that. Uh, it's going to be Dixie Carter with her YSW, WSW. Uh, Juggler John says they're going to dig up all the dead wrestlers. Uh, uh, cause <laughs> I and, like that. I like and, that and idea. And make the T virus. Uh, I like that idea. Or maybe just, you know, Black Lanterns, you know. Um, <laughs> oh my god and then oh, we'll have Daniel fucking Bryan John Cena and Triple H as White Lanterns and, oh. yeah 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 wow. who's Sinestro the boogeyman is coming to get us apparently <laughs> yeah the boogeyman it's like coming in the boogeyman <laughs> alright that's enough guys let's uh let's uh find out what did you learn from wrestling this week Mr. Chachi says I learned that John Cena is currently lawful good but they're trying to get him to swerve. Chaotic neutral. He swerved! Wrestle fan, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I learned something, and I should have included this in the good about TNA. I learned that Rudy Charles is back. Yay! I learned uh, that Which I didn't know. First, I didn't know he's go- he was gone. <laughs> uh, but second, I realized that they replaced him as the senior official uh, mm. with Earl Hebner. So. Aww. Yeah, that's kind of you. Kind of can't win there. And uh, but no, you know he's back, but he's back as Eric Young's sidekick. Oh, well, that could be fun. Not really. DJ Lunchbox, what'd you learn from wrestling or cats this week? <laughs> I learned that I learned that kitties are the best. Um, and, <laughs> Yay! And they fart <laughs> smell. They oh my god, he, that was a hell of a <laughs> fart. Like I li- he farted. And I looked, and I was like, "Did he just shit on my lap?" Because <laughs> holy shit, that's off. Wait, um, did he no, shit I on learned, your lap? I I learned why Sin Cara uh, botches so much. It's because of his giant porn star dong. <laughs> mm. Giant penis. Riz, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? And chat room, please chime in for what you learned. I learned that there is a WSU Hall of Fame. <laughs> And won't ever hear about that ever again. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> and uh, I also learned that um, Kazarni gets mad when you call him a turkey. Turkey. Because WWE.com did the biggest turkeys in wrestling, and apparently Kazarni was on it. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I don't know if that's, that's good. Uh, Bobby learned, Bobby F. J. Town learned that the boogeyman is coming to get us. You guys need to be nice to Helen Keller and just say no to Molina. It was uh, it was so loud in there. It will get you uh, Who's sucking a water bottle. <laughs> it will get you stared at in future endeavor. Uh, and uh, help it. Matt Matt Carlin's in the chat. Also learned that Alberto Del Rio's hair moves for no man. <laughs> no me gusta. <laughs> All right. On that note, guys. Hey, go check everybody out. Chachi's at Chachi says dot net. What up? Wrestle fans at the Wrestle fan on Twitter. DJ Launchbox does the thoughtful ride at thoughtfulriot.com at DJ Launchbox on the Twitters. Riz is at Riz IUP. And one day there will be a video up where he builds a baked good with Missy. One day. One day. Probably not. Probably not t- today. Or no, no. Tomorrow. My stuff. My yeah. stuff's over at MikeSorg.com, Sorgatron.com. And uh, you can check out my post over there. Uh, Steve Jobs, Vic, Vince McMahon, one and the same. You, you decide. Ooh. Go go check that out at Sorgatron.com. I'm at Sorgatron. And, hey, you can check out all the action we're doing at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Twitter us at Mayhem Show. You can also uh, send us emails at Good, good, good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. That was late. 
206-270-9670. Please, everybody, buy the app. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And do a circle thing on Google+. Uh, join us for the Hangouts. Join us for all that stuff. We're taking submissions for the best ofs for the end of the year uh, on uh, Friday, December 16th. Uh, December 16th, I think it is. Uh, we were doing the uh, special holiday edition Mayhem show, which will probably involve alcohol for everybody but wrestling fan. Uh, so please mark your calendars for that. And we'll be taking a couple week hiatus over the holidays. Um, so drunk thank you, five. everybody, for joining us. Everybody drunk high five each other tonight. Okay. Mad Mike <laughs> learned that live Smackdowns on Tuesdays suck for me enjoying the show live at IBM. <laughs> See you guys next week. Mayhem show out. High five. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.